All right. So, um, welcome back to the finale. Oh God. I don't uh, want to do this. The, yes, you the do. The finale part two? The finale no. part two, Electric Boogaloo, for real this time. No jokes. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, no. No. <laughs> no. No. I can't no. do this. I don't want it to end. Well, it will continue in one way or another. Um, yeah. So, uh, update your character sheets. Send me the yeah. new ones on Discord. Um, I only have it as a photo, but I can if I tell you what I've updated. No, that that's not gonna work. I don't update anything, so I don't need to send you anything, right? No. <sighs> send it anyway. Well, you know what, Raven? <laughs> you just keep track of what you updated. Yeah. And if and when you have to roll for it. Yeah. You just use a new number. Okay, cool. So it was you had to roll, and if you're above it, you can update it, right? Is that the way it works? Yeah, if you fail the roll again, yeah, you update it with a d10, if I believe. Oh, a I d10? thought it was a d4. Is it d4? Well, it says the, the bottom of the yeah, the bottom of the character sheet says a d4 minus one even, which oh. seems like low. Let's see. <laughs> because I have the slipcase with the books. Oh, wow. Very fancy. Eh? I know. Fancy I'm man. Fat man. Oh, fans. Fancy man with a fancy plan. Doesn't he just do what a fancy man can? Where would it be? The blam. Oh no, that doesn't rhyme. But... All right. So the index for this book is advancement. See experience. So we go to experience. Yeah. Can I just say that the way that the Delta Green books are written is really fucking awful. You can. It's, it makes no sense at all. Improving skill, 29. It makes What's no with them? sense. All right. To, um, at the end of each session, uh, well, each session. <laughs> Add a 1d4 percentage point to every skill that has a check to it. Then erase the check. Why does it say 1d4 minus 1 then? Because that was the old. Oh, okay. I think. So how, how much is it then? Just a d4. A d4. Just a d4. Yep. You don't have to roll again. One. Oh, you don't have to roll again. You just get it? Yeah. Awesome. I rolled twice though. But you know. Why wouldn't Whatever. you? Yeah. Whatever. I also still have a plus twenty bonus on skill check or an attack. Which I got for calling um, Aiden Princess when he sat down for breakfast once. Oh, yeah. Which I haven't used. So, yes, well, we can fucking use that this time. <laughs> use it or lose it. I know. All right, let's see. I'm getting messages <laughs> from two people. Nice. I sent you my updated uh, thing. Um, All right. Is Sirenscape running? Not yet. Okay. But it will do now because we're starting the recap. Uh, I will do in a second after I fix my Sirenscape because it's decided not to connect to you. It's connected to me. Yeah, it's connected to me so as well. Amazing. Everybody here, Sirenscape? Yeah. Well, last week, 
um, we started with Bradley notifying the forest rangers around Devil Star's Park to look out for uh, Gucci Man, basically. Um, we also had a fun call with David Topper de Vries, um, where he was. Um, I've written down that it, he wasn't using the proper channels. I, I don't know if that was directed at us or if it was just something that we said to him that he wasn't using the proper channels. Maybe a bit um, Probably, yeah. Um, and we asked him, you know, why he was doing this. Oh, yeah, that's the thing, I think. Why he was not using the proper channels for getting this mission to us and um, you know, why this was of the books, even by Delphine standards. And his reasoning that he basically feared that the Delta Green organization would weaponize this uh, organism or bacteria or whatever it is. Um, we also learned from him that the bodies that he was supposed to get someone to pick up from the bunker, he put them in a septic tank. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, then on the way to Bethel Star, we stopped at the gas station where Gucci Man was spotted a couple of hours ago. Um, we then had a call or made a call to the uh, some radio stations telling them to spread the message that people should ignore hitchhikers um, or ignore people on the road in general. We got some gas station coffee after that. Olivia dropped a, a vial of the... Uh, or a sample, I guess, in the van. Aiden got a concussion. I don't remember how that happens. I think he like slipped in trying to get out of the van. Yeah. <laughs> after the, the vial was dropped. Um, Ah, yeah, and then they, they stripped down. That was at the visitor center, and they, they stripped down and grabbed it, ran, ran into the visitor center, fucking naked, grabbing t shirts and clothes. Uh, where they then tried to convince uh, people from the visitor center. Um, hang on, I can't read my notes. Yeah, they Or they. they asked them about uh, if they saw anything and the guy from the visitor center uh, mentioned that he saw someone standing still looking up at Devil Tower for a long time just staring at it. And that's where my notes end. So, in that case, you're standing at the visitor center. You have just heard at word that the infamous Gucci man is on the trail. What do you do? Didn't we speak to someone outside? I swear we spoke to someone outside as well. Because we got them all scared. Who was that? Yeah, someone from the, the visitor center. center I think. No, there was the oh. people inside the visitor center, and then we went outside to talk to someone. Yeah, one of the hikers. It was the hikers. I thought it was a, an employee of the store. Ah. It was the hikers that saw the Gucci man, and they left him some water and some power bars. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we asked him if he touched if they touched them. Yeah, and he got oh, really scared. Got... Yeah, he got very scared. Very scared. But he told you that the Gucci man is on the trail. 
So it's just standing do we, there. Do we run in uh, to the store, steal a lot of hiking equipment and run after him? Is there, are there any, like, caddies or bikes or other things that you can get rather than having to hike so that we can make it easier? Like, is there one of those Segway thingies that you can rent? Yeah, the off-road ones. The giant yeah. wheels. <laughs> you have those. I know, you have those. Um, well, there's a few options that you have. Mm -hmm. You can ask the rangers for help. They have a lot of climbing gear. Um, you can charter a helicopter. Maybe that's the way to get up. Devil's Tower. Um, you could climb yourself. Um, it takes... Um, mm, well, you need the equipment. And it takes four to six hours to climb Devil's Tower. It's, it's a pretty high thing. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not climb. Because there's going to be a lot of checks there, I can see. So, Should we charter a helicopter? Um, uh, do we split up and do either? Like, make no, a I... to the base and have people on the ground and people up on the tower? Or all of us on the tower, I mean, and get the rangers to take the base. No, but um, the the from I'm looking at uh, Google Maps, like the visitor center is like right up to the tower itself, almost, right? So what you basically did is you drove there, um, went to the visitor center, and to get to the actual base of the tower, it's uh, a little bit further, but not that far. Yeah, it's like what two hundred meters, maybe. Yeah. Oh, so we so, can see um, it. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, see we're it. Yeah, right, right. we're we're right. We're basically at the base of the mountain, can, of the tower. Can we see? Can we see someone climbing it? Who has the highest alertness? Well, I have seventy-one. <laughs> you try, because mine is not high. <laughs> <laughs> what forty-six ago? I just uh, 59. Mine is 50. Uh, yeah. So, you check and you check, and you kind of think that you see somebody on trying to climb? But it's it's a tiny speck. And if he's climbing, he is the fastest climber you have ever seen. Yeah, that's what I was, was gonna say. Like we're there's no way that we're gonna catch up with him if we just climb after him. So like the only option that we really have is either try to shoot him now and shoot hope that the helicopter. Yeah, or Sorry, indeed no. get him with a helicopter and I, I, what are we even going to do if we get a helicopter? Just try and push him off the top once he gets there or? Maybe we've got a rifle, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. I sure. bought one like yeah. yesterday. He's a, he's a vector. But the I thing think... is, we don't, we're not entirely sure that uh, we will be able to take him out with a rifle. In fact, we probably won't be. Well, would you? But that the range, the range the bomb is... any, any area. We need to remove everybody around. Mm. But there's hikers around. We're gonna have to get in contact with the park people anyway to say that this place needs to be evacuated right now. When the I... rangers have tranquilizer guns for like bears and stuff. So if we go to the ranges and ask them. Mm -hmm. Also, 
We still what have. Would we? We, st we still have a uh, fire extinguisher that we used on the on the van, so we can also try and at the same time cool him down very rapidly with CO2. Yeah, but but uh, look, um, yeah. uh, if you look at the mountain, it doesn't look like an helicopter could just uh, land anywhere. Like, let's say we shoot him, he whoop, falls in the uh, mountain. Um, I don't think it's possible for us to get to him from the helicopter. If we are able to shoot him. So I think that um, um, although it's not so easy, I agree that maybe some of us, or at least one of us, and it could be me, should be walking, should be on, on the soil, because <clears throat> the other people might not know how to deal with him also. Yeah, that's why I said split up. Two stay on the ground, two, two go up. Yeah. Of but course we, we cannot uh... get him, but... Are we are we killing him or are we just Definitely. yeah yeah Absolutely. basically shoot the rifle from a helicopter open the door Ooh. yeah but if he doesn't if we don't get him right then someone on the ground will still have to take him out you got another yeah. gun uh, well I think we can go the only one with a gun is Bradley, Bradley. yeah. yeah. But I mean, um, my my, it sounds like quite the conundrum you have here. Yeah, because also he is not only he the one with a gun, but probably the one that knows how to shoot a gun. Mm. From all of us. Yeah, but I was thinking I am also probably the best qualified to stay on the ground and deal with him. Like. If we, if I need to get up close, because Bradley is pretty strong and fit. Um, Fine to go up. So, Adam, what do you want to do? I think me and you should stay at the base then. Uh, get, get the rangers on our side in case he comes back down. Raven and Bradley quickly charter a helicopter. They try and shoot him from the helicopter. If that fails, they la they can land on the top of the tower. There is actually a big plateau up there. There is. There is. If you look if you look on the satellite image, there's a plateau on the top. Yeah, on top they would be able to land. Yeah, Devil Tower is so, flat on top. Yeah. To Mesa, isn't it? Because, but, so they'll be able to land on top and uh, double do the target if he's tries to escape down the hill we've got the rangers at the bottom of the hill we uh i mean we can't we can't let this spread any further we need to you know kill him yeah yeah but how <laughs> just, do we convince how do we convince the rangers that that's the best option uh, he's really the rough flying the helicopter all right we just what's the most horrific disease you can think of that's really contagious I don't think that any disease would convince people to oh. kill other people. Um, what's it? Uh, mad dog disease. What's it in English? Um, rabies. Rabies. Because that's yeah. He says, he says he's rabies. Yeah. It makes and people aggressive, hmm? and is also pretty contagious. Yeah, I think that yeah. to say that he is also a danger because he can attack. It's a plus to just he has a virus. And they also get like, it seems like superhuman strength and ability yes. because they don't, they don't realize what their body is doing. Yeah, they're like tearing apart their own bodies basically. As I mean, yeah, and me and Olivia being from the CDC, it makes it legit. So some form of like a new form of super rabies, maybe. Okay. Rabies to love. Extra Bowler rabies. rabies. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra rabies. It's a plus. Um, but you, you're the one with the ranger contact, so Bradley, I think he should call and uh, you know, yeah. say that you are with the CDC and that there's this person on the loose. Um, 
Yeah, and I'll, t I'll, I'll get them to send the helicopter. Oh, I did send Austin to send the helicopter, right? I did that. Did we do that last week? I think so. Didn't you arrive by? We... Didn't we all arrive by helicopter? In no. the end. No. Oh. No, 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 no. We're no. still thinking that. I'll go I'm get my chips. No, but we did. I called the forest rangers. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I can just call them, update them, tell them that uh, he made it to the Devil's Tower. And that I guess maybe there's been an update from CDC, like they've run some tests. And the thing that they, that he's carrying is some form of rabies that makes him super violent, whatever. Uh, and that he needs to be put down. Um, and ask them. Maybe they've already got someone like with a rifle in that helicopter that they can uh, take him down with, or to land at the visitor center. Let me get in the helicopter, and then uh, so that I can take him out. Yeah. From the helicopter. Well, or from the from the platform. Basically, we need a lift up. I think I should contact the police, the local police, to uh, remove every tracker. Uh, how do you call that? The trail. Yeah, if there's if there's people <laughs> climbing. Yeah. To like, yeah, to they should. That, they need to get out. Is that the police or is that the park itself? I don't know if the park will have enough people to do. For the police just to give like extra i don't know yeah. like cars extra but the police will want to know what's going on as well oh, well we can tell them the same thing that there's just a man with rabies okay. climbing the mountain and he's posing a danger to the other tourists yeah i think it's much sorry no it sounds like a solid plan um it's gonna require some rules. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. But I think it's. Uh... And then to get rid of body, because it's also seen. Well, we need, yeah, we need to get rid of all of the other bodies as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna need to do some uh, checks on everyone that in contact on his entire run from Helena to here uh, and make sure he didn't infest anyone well um while Bradley is uh, calling can I do a Google search for like the nearest place that rents um Call those refrigerated vans or something. Um, yeah, you can, but like the nearest place is it's not very close. Um, there isn't really a city, the closest city is the closest town is Hurlet, they don't have it. So if you check the closest city, it would be Gillette. Maybe, maybe they have it. Um, what about like the nearest coroner's office? That would be in Sundance. Okay. <laughs> Even just the nearest uh, butcher's shop, where they have like a walking fridge. That would also be Sundance. <clears throat> the thing is that we want to... Why I was thinking of a refrigerated van is because we need to move bodies. And we need to move the bodies from the... From the septic tank as well, from the, Mr. De Vries's house. Well, there is... Inside the lovely city, 
uh, Sundance, a Crook County Hospital with an emergency room. So they would probably have a morgue hmm. or something close by. If we take him out, we need like, I don't know how many body bags. We, well, basically the van is rendered unusable because of the spill. So we need transport. We need body bags and we need refrigeration. Um, okay, well, I've looked this up. I'm, I'm not going to act on anything right now, but I looked it up. All right. You looked this up. Um, you had a lot of ideas. What's the concrete plan right now? Who are you asking? All of you, because oh. all of you are, are making a plan here. So me and Olivia at the bottom, with the uh, support of the park rangers. And now we will also try to contact the police for them to help us to... Oh, your Sorry. mic. You have to make mi your microphone needs to be closer. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, I will also contact the local police for them to help us to remove everybody walking around in the mountain and also help uh, Adam with my first aid I have very high first aid to see if I can do anything for him and I guess Bradley and I are going uh, well Bradley's going to call the park rangers of uh, the park rangers yeah. sorry the forest service to see if we can uh, get a lift up to devil's tower and I might stake out the visitor center while we do that to see if they have like a large pole. I don't know, like a hiking stick or something. So that I don't have to get too close to the guy. But can... Well, they might even have off. animal control. Um, like if there's a wild cat or something, the park rangers would have one of those snares to catch, catch something or somebody. Anything that I can use as a weapon long range. Well, not long range, but sort of at... <laughs> Intermediate range. Yes. <laughs> social distance. I need social distance weapons. <laughs> All right. You're muted. From the picture, uh, this tower is very... Well, this like, really a lot of... It's tourist. Yeah, there's a lot of people that come there. Um, but it, it's winter. It's very cold. Not a lot of people go out for a hike or a climb in this weather. So that might be your saving grace in this point. About 4 degrees centigrade. So it's not ideal hiking weather. And not ideal climbing weather because your hands get cold and everything. Mm -hmm. So, Bradley, you're calling your colleagues, basically. Yeah. What do you tell them? Well, I well since I've called them before, I will just update them on the situation that we are at the Devil's Tower, uh, that we have probably uh, uh, seen the suspect or the guy climbing the mountain. Uh, I tell them that I've had an update from the CDC that they ran some tests on some DNA that they found somewhere. Uh, and that the guy is infected with some new form of rabies that is as untreatable as regular rabies. It makes him even more violent uh, and you know, more dangerous to the people around him than regular uh, rabies. And it's also, uh, or it, it looks like it's really 
they just and that we are gonna have to take him out for the security of the people at the party all right well um they defer to you in this case because you are the man with the plan um and even if you're not a high-ranking officer or a high-ranking ranger in this case if you are steadfast you have a plan you tell them i have conferred with this and this organization this is what's mm -hmm. happening we need to do this they are more than willing to help you and the cdc awesome right. roll me a d6 four four gonna take an hour for the helicopter to get back get refueled be um basically ready to go out again okay so while i'm waiting i'm gonna check the visitor center for like binoculars or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. they have keep an eye on on the guy climbing mines and see if he makes it where he gets all right you find binoculars and the first thing the first one you find is like these novelty dinosaur binoculars not really working <laughs> like a child's toy you ask the clerk like do you have anything better and just then one of the park rangers steps in and just hands you one of the professional binoculars the big black ones with the like two slides that you can just yeah, really focus in yeah like the extra really zoom extra, button extra zoom yeah. button enhance enhance indeed voice activate <laughs> <laughs> and he's he he's he looks visibly excited like I, I i i think i see him but like this is some weird shit he's just climbing he's already halfway and he points uh this man points the man climbing out to you and he's indeed halfway up the mountain you've never seen anything like this you've seen free climbers on videos like climbing the empire state building and they go about it sometimes fast but usually methodical this figure leaps and bounds from ledge to ledge from half handhold to half handhold seemingly flying up the wall Raven. Yes. You have in your pocket something burning. Yeah, I do. Can it wait? No, I want to do it now. We have an hour. Indeed. The only laptop that I know of is in the van, and the van is not a place I want to go indeed but, but there's an office in the visitor center office. and if i flash my keep it wholesome fake but but you know fbi id i uh i might see if i can use one of their computers in the office for the back they like always happy to help law enforcement in any way shape or form uh, they show you to one of the back rooms it has a uh, computer it's an oldie but it has a usb port and they ask if they can get you anything right now or if you need privacy to conduct some um, like calls or anything yeah privacy would be good um, and maybe a glass of water? <laughs> sure, we get it straight <laughs> from <laughs> the water treatment plant here. Okay, never mind. Thank you. I'm fine. No, they, no, they, fine. Uh, they give you <laughs> no, a glass of water. Actually, it's a, it's a bottle of water. Even better. Yeah. Pollution. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I have the flash drive. Least of problems. I have the flash drive from um, Stapler. That I want to plug in. 
you put in this flash drive and you get a pop-up okay. it asks for a password oh god uh, I put in my name and my date of birth You put in your name and your date of birth. Yeah. Nothing happens. You have two more. It says on the bottom, you have two more tried. Oh, fuck. I put in... Uh... I put in Judd's last name and his date of birth. Uh, his the, the year of birth. Harewood. Error. Wrong password. Okay. Give me an ID rule. What's an ID rule? It's just your intelligence times five. Okay. Three. Under 60. <laughs> Why would or is Topper... that three times five? No, 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 three. Why would Topper know your date of birth or use your date of birth? Stapler. Yeah, Stapler, sorry. Well, because he's recruited me before. So he has my info. Mm-hmm. You type in Raven. Because I don't want to keep this from you. You type in Raven. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and, you, and you press enter. Oh, okay. It's that easy. Fun. You would think that the security would be a bit higher, but you know. Okay, Raven. <laughs> it opens Flash Drive D. And it has one folder. What's the folder called? Judd. Oh, of course. I click on Judd. You get another pop-up as for now. <laughs> it... <laughs> and I put in Judd. <laughs> it is at least 700 files. Okay. Some of them are images. Some of them are text files. Um, Do you open one? Yeah, I guess the most recent image. The most recent image is from about 10 days ago. It is a screenshot of a text message. I'm not going to tell you what it says because you can imagine it yourself. But as you click on every file, on every text mess, text file, on every image file, all of them are messages from Judd to you. To me. And you check the first one. And it's a message from Judd to Stapler. It reads, Stapler, this is the last thing I'm going to do for you. But I need you to do something for me. I left Raven alone but I need her to know that I'm with her in spirit always please forward each and every message I have for her to her Judd 
and it's just oh, hundreds God. and hundreds of messages to you almost every day a new message saying that he misses you that he's thinking about you that he understands that he cannot call you but he hopes you get the messages even if you don't reply back roll me a sanity check yeah I was gonna say um, I'm actually going insane so I don't know <laughs> Uh, okay. 81 over 45. Roll me a d10. Four. You take a d10 plus one sanity damage. Which is five. five. Oh, fuck. Okay. I imagined you did not hit your breaking point this time. No, I didn't. My breaking point is 10 points away. Indeed. We'll get there. Because you lost 5 in one go. And this is helplessness. So if you have ticks on helplessness, you need to remove them. Nope, I don't have any ticks. Tell me what Raven does in this moment and think about it as in fight flight or freeze and how does this play out um. this is two years of silence crashing down at you in one instant I think I want to... I think I want to fight. All right. I'm so angry. That this was kept for me, and that Stapler never said anything, and that Judd was sending messages, and that they weren't delivered to me at all, ever, apart from when I contacted him, basically, and said, you better fucking tell me what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so, I think what I'll do is I'll... I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty insane already. So I think I start smashing up the computer. Yeah. I take out the, I take out the drive. Solid. I am, like, sane enough to eject and press that so that not all of the right files are gone. Right-click, safely eject. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very and methodically. I, I literally pick up the keyboard and I start smashing it and I start smashing the screen and I rip the mouse and I throw it on the floor and I step on it and I start just yelling. Like, screaming. And yelling, screaming, smashing the keyboard. Yep. Picking up the screen is one of the CTR screens, CRT, I don't remember, the large ones, and crash it on the floor, pick the chair, pick it up, smash it oh, on I'm the gonna, desk. I'm gonna fucking table flip as well. Say, oh yeah. <laughs> fucking table flip. flip the table. <laughs> and you trash this little office. The rest of you hear this, whatever inside the visitor center hears this. Who is in the visitor center? E, you both hear somebody screaming <laughs> at the top of her lungs. You hear crashing, you hear things breaking. And what I imagine, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that you rush to the door, open it, see the crazed look in Raven's eyes, and close the door again. No, 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 no. no? Well, <laughs> okay. pretty, much, pretty much all of that. 
All of that, but the last few steps you take slowly. You knock the door ever so slightly, didn't did you? Off your head, run. You okay, hon? <laughs> <laughs> Could you just keep it down? We're about to phone the police. Okay, thank you. You're Don't muted. Shut the door, sir. <laughs> oh man, I said shut the fuck up! Okay. <laughs> Well, Olivia, Olivia, I think she's having a moment. <laughs> Just uh, go get back to helping Adam with uh, anything on his head. Putting a band-aid. <laughs> I'm going to dial the local police department on my phone and hold it on speakerphone to Olivia while she's rendering me and we can just hear screams in the background. Ignore that, officer. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is happening. <laughs> Um, and I already inform also the police um, everything we already told uh, that Bradley already there's a danger a person that is very sick with something very contagious he's very violent and uh, everybody that is in the park needs to move and we need all the forces to help us to remove and if any of the police officers encountered the person the only thing they can do is to try to you don't say kill right what do you say take to... down yeah to take down i don't know and neutralize uh, the threats neutralize yes. the threat and um after that do not get close because it's a very infectious all right Olivia, should we uh, no wait outside that? maybe while Raven? Yeah. <laughs> um, I I have a question. Do I notice anything in, in me? Am I normal? Am I okay? Of course, you can tell. Okay, good. <laughs> um, where's this coming from, Olivia? <laughs> you were fine two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> No, from the from dropping stuff in the car and all. Don't I don't know if I. No, you got out the van and we 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 stripped off, didn't we? And it's me that slipped over in the van. Yes. So um... We didn't we didn't get contaminated because we both stripped off our hazmat suits. It's just I left blood on the inside of the hazmat suit. What and... do we do to? No, what do we do to the van? You cannot just leave the van here. At the moment, it's uh, low priority. As long as no one goes in it or touches it, we should be okay. It, it's locked, right? I will go lock. <laughs> okay, good. But is it now open or is it locked? <laughs> so I went to to check <laughs> Damn it. the front door. Does the two flashes mean it's locked or is that one flash? <laughs> <laughs> takes about half an hour but you hear sirens in the distance coming closer Bradley you keep track of the progress of this figure and the higher he comes the faster he goes like he's getting in a stride but just before the hour is done you see him rounding the top, moving out of sight. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, oh. sorry, I'm here, I'm just... <laughs> no, I'm, you were I'm, so uh... silent, you sat <laughs> like <laughs> totally <laughs> still. <laughs> I'm, uh, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking, um... About like as he nears to the top and as like it becomes clear that this helicopter isn't going to be here before he rounds the top. I'm starting to think about shooting him from down here. And just just to see if it does anything at all, even really. Uh, like, does it slow him down? Maybe I can cause him to lose grip and like, 
fall down a bit and make him lose some progress. Um, he is at the the wall part of the, right? He's yeah. literally climbed. Yeah. Because we don't really know what he wants to do at the top and how long it would take him to do that thing. I Me? think we do. I think we he do? has. Yeah, I think he has the tape that he wants to play to do the ritual for the creep people, right? Yeah, but how? Yeah, sure. But how long? How long it takes? I don't know. Would that take? We don't know. We don't know if that takes like ten minutes, an hour, like maybe. Do like, oh, I know that? I... Because I know more about a cult. Am I still raging, or how long have I been raging? I would like mm. to rage. Um... <laughs> Roll for rage. <laughs> um, raw cult. Let's see. Seventy under eighty. You know that the Cree song, which is probably what he's gonna sing, but you don't know how long it would take, and also what it would do. Mm, yeah. If it does anything. Maybe it's just a crazy man singing top of the mountain. <laughs> well I know what I know that, because we be. we learned that in the in the um, on the tape that it's like it is a ritual but we don't know how long it takes you. And what it's for, but we don't know if that's gonna work either. Okay. I actually never thought that something would happen if he got there. I never thought of that. Alien. Yeah, it's, we don't know. Well, That's the thing. There is a chance that something weird would happen then. He Our starts people. doing. Star, yeah. But do you want to shoot but... him then? Before he gets away? Can I go check yeah. uh, Raven? You can you can go and check Raven, of course. So I'll go and open the door like nothing happened, and I'll try to talk to her like I don't see what's happened thrown around, <laughs> so she doesn't get too stressed. You know, like oh, not big thing. Are you okay, Raven? Are you okay? I think so. Good! Come! Let's go! You're kind of guilty for uh, smashing up I tap, this I, I... person's apartment. You did well. <laughs> Feel uh, energized. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do that someday. Rage rooms, I'd recommend. Want to smash something now? <laughs> Before I want to show you, there's a man climbing the wall outside. Oh, yeah, Gucci man's making it up. Is he up already? I'm not sure. Bradley, who has a very awesome uh, thing to check, he says yes. I don't see much. I already don't see much usually, and he's quite far now. Hey. Do you hear the song? He must be really shouting that from the top of things. For or some air. reason, this song that you hear in the distance fills the valley. The indigenous. So we've got to move. We've got to start moving right now. Is there Bradley, a... you're shooting at this guy. Sorry to interrupt. That's fine. Bradley, you're shooting uh, at this guy. Well, wait. 
So I'm confused now because is he is he at the top? Because if he's no, because on the top, he is he is closing in on the top. Because you wanted to shoot him, I'll, I'll roll back the tape just a bit. Yeah, well, the thing is, Bradley is very hesitant to start shooting around the police because, like, even though this guy is dangerous and infectious like from a police point of view he is not like posing any threats to anyone right now while he's up on that mountain mm -hmm. so starting to shoot him right now would look very weird and ask a lot of questions that we can't give answers to the police was called after Aiden and Olivia called them, right? Yeah, but they haven't arrived yet. Wait, we heard sirens. In the distance, so... Are they... In the distance, indeed. Oh, they haven't arrived yet? No. Well, they are close. They already landed. You can see the helicopter. At the landing pad, not, not far from the visitor center. I'd say run to the helicopter right oh, now. Oh, if the helicopter's landed, then yeah, I'll get on the helicopter and. Uh... I'm, I'm off as well. Yeah. You're rushing to the helicopter, and even though it's stationary, you hear a helicopter in the distance coming closer. Oh fuck! And as you're I know looking, what that is. you see a big, big, black Chinook helicopter. Diggler. Arriving at Devil's Tower. And it's not landing at the bottom. It's not landing nope. at the base. It's landing at the top. It's Diggler. Or Bentic. Temp or either. Whoever. But it's the it's the it's the other mm. people. Yeah. Neither is good news. Nope. Can, can I do a look roll to see if there's an RPG in the van? You can certainly do a luck roll. <laughs> uh, 20. There's still no RPG in the van. Oh. <laughs> there CDC is, English. however, somewhere, a rocket. Oh. Remember? But, but without the launcher. The without the launcher. Can we get into the ship? helicopter, fly above the other helicopter, and then drop it out? You can certainly try. <laughs> the oh, big wait, black but we want to destroy the helicopter, not the men? Yeah, the helicopter then crashes into the thing. It's a tragic accident. It's... Foolproof yeah. plan. The big black Chinook lands on top and is out of sight for you. Okay, so let we go inside already. The helicopter. I'm not even yeah. going inside. <laughs> yeah. I'm running up to the helicopter and like signaling the pilots to like spin up and, and get in the air. I'm right behind Bradley. Running As you're arriving. <laughs> going you sorry. Out of <laughs> <laughs> You rush towards the helicopter, and as you're arriving, you can already see that it's on the last leg of its takeoff control. You barge in, take a seat, strap yourself in, and within a minute, you're airborne. Let's have a small break. Here we go. No! Yes. <laughs> also, we're going long. I do need a wee. That's, so that's why. Good. Yes. <laughs> we're going long. Thanks. It does look beautiful. It does look beautiful as you move up into, into the sky. Devil's Tower comes ever closer. 
and the helicopter takes a wide bow so it goes high first circles around so you can see everything there is a black helicopter with four people standing in front of it a man a woman and two others to the side both carrying what look like submachine guns a man further up is standing alone his hands to the side and even through the whirring of the helicopter you can hear it Of my t shirt and put it in my ears. <clears throat> sure, you can. The pilot asks, Where should I land? As close to the guy as possible and in between the other people and this person, if you can. He looks down and says, That's too close. I can put you down to the side, but the otherwise it's too close to the helicopter. Why? Because I say so. <laughs> Look, I wasn't in Nam, okay? Okay, I'll try. I'll How? try, but if anything goes wrong. I'm gonna lose my license. I'll take responsibility. And I flash my FBI badge. All right. He goes down and I want you to picture this. He lands and you see the man you know as Stapler, the woman next to him and the others, shielding themselves against all the dust that's being whirled up by this helicopter. It is a floor of dirt, rocks, grass, sage boots. Very uneven. And as the helicopter lands, it, it slides a bit to the side. You hear the pilot mutter cursives under his breath as he says get out I have to get up I'm gonna I'm gonna I have to get up back up in the air I'll come back for you do you get out Ashley, you say? buckle up Bradley Bradley jumps out I jump out All right. Olivia, Aiden, you're downstairs, right? I'm running to the parking lot uh, to greet the police. I'm just standing there with my badge held up. My CDC badge. Waiting for them. Because I see the sirens coming in the distance towards me. All right. Olivia, you're where at the moment? Did you join them in the helicopter? No, I didn't. I'm just watching it. <laughs> I'm just standing here. <laughs> Having a good time. <laughs> I see that Adam is uh, moving and um, maybe it's too much. She's just looking. By now, I don't see the point of the thing. Adam is already taking care of. They are too up in the air. I cannot see anybody. I don't see anything. I just uh, feel very uncomfortable with the sound, if I still hear it. And I think that naturally I also want to 
I don't think why, but I feel like I would like to not hear it. Maybe just because it's scary to to think what's happening or something. I'm gonna stop the music for a bit. Brad Raven. Both of you are on top of Devil's Tower. Your helicopter just left. And next to you, you hear Gucci men chanting. On the other side, you see two men with submachine guns trained on you. A woman and a man, they are flanking. Stapler looks at you and says, Raven, so glad you could join us. And I put up my middle finger. <laughs> I guess I deserve that. Sir, please put your rifle on the floor. And the two men flanking them are training their submachine guns, their Uzis, at you right now. I'm aiming my rifle at um, Gucci Mel. Sir, I'm not going to say this again. Put your rifle on the floor. What? are you doing what don't aim your rifles at me aim it at them at him he's the danger here what what do you want with him anyway well we don't really need him but we need what he's doing to be concluded Put your rifle down. How far is Gucci Man from the edge? He's standing perfectly in the middle of Devil's of the Tower. Plateau. Yep. And how far is that from the edge? Well, uh, let's see. Devil's Tower. It is about um it's almost eighty meters across, so it's about forty meters either way. Sir, this is your last warning. Put the rifle down. I'm gonna run towards uh, Gucci Man and body slam him and try and drag him to the edge. Okay. I lower my gun. <laughs> no, you can that? shoot the guys. And yeah, are they? Distracted or what, what? what's their response to this? Well, in this case, we're going to do two things. Um, what's both of your dex scores? Mine's 50, so it's not very high. Yeah, same. All right, so uh, but I do. I'm very strong. <laughs> yes. So both that's of you have a, a, a base dex of ten. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. Raven? Yeah? You start running. Yeah. And now we get in combat order. You hear... Stapler say, Shoot her! And the first two to act with a dex of 11 are the two men with submachine guns. Now, as the bad GM yeah. I am, I don't have my dice here. One second. <laughs> you didn't think this was going to go into combat, this. <laughs> Should have known. <laughs> this is the moment we've all been waiting for. So, I have here... Well... A D100. Both of them shoot at you, Raven. The first one misses on a 56. Mm -hmm. The second one hits on a 10. Does it make a difference that I'm running? It does. They had a, a, a penalty. Okay. You take 9 points of damage. Uh, hit points? Yes. Cool. <laughs> How much do you have left? Three. All right, so that's over half your hit points in one go. Yeah. Yeah. You fall face first in the dirt as you've been hit in your legs. Ah, oh, fuck off. Excuse me, this is a Christian server. No, it's not. <laughs> Bradley, what do you do? I see Raven go down and I very dramatically yell, Raven! And shoot the guy that shot her. All right. Roll. Firearms. Eight, 18 under 60. 18 under 60, All right, roll your damage. Uh, sorry, what's the damage? Uh, I, For a uh, rifle? rifle? I think it's a D8 or a D12 or a D10. Let's just do a, do a D12. A D12, 20, that's a, that's a D12. One. Oh my god. It grazes his shoulder, giving him one damage. <laughs> Tapler pulls out his gun and shoots at you, Bradley. Stationary target, 27. It's Uh, five damage. Twelve left. Damn. Uh, it's seventeen. 
indeed. As we turn to Olivia standing there, blissfully unaware. The music. Looking left, looking right, seeing Aiden talk to the police. And we go back to Raven. <laughs> Raven, you're on the ground. You've been shot in the leg. Uh-huh. What do you do? I want to continue what I tried to do. I want to run up to the... the guy and try and push him over the edge. All right. Running is going to be difficult, but you can, yeah. like, crawl, run. Um... Roll me a dexterity check with a 20% penalty. Uh, it is 45. I rolled 25 plus 20. 45 under 50. No. Wait. What's your dex normal? 50. 50. So you have to roll under a 30. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to use my uh, one-off. Well, no, 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 but you rolled 25. You rolled 25? Oh, yeah, I rolled 25. All right, so you're good. You... I thought I had to add 20 to mine. Well, technically, yeah, it's, it's the same. same. It's the same. It's the same, it's the same but, but not different. the same. It was but different. But still same. same. Indeed. So you crawl run on three well two two hands and one leg blood gushing out towards Gucci Man. I mean how far away from him am I? You are very close right now, so roll me a strength check to see. Twelve under seventy. Twelve under seventy. You tackle this man. You're about 40 meters from the edge. This man is singing. Well, you have your hands around him, trying to drag him towards the edge. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that's what I'm doing, exactly. All right. And I'm gonna put him in between me and the people. All right. Aiden. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Talking to the police. Are we rewinding the tape, or did I hear the shots being fired? You hear the shots being fired. Well, I'm, I'm just going to go. <laughs> Can we see the uh, chopper being coming away after it's dropped him off? Yeah, you can. Can. can we signal that to land? Yeah, you, you can, sure. Okay, I'm going to turn around to the officer and say, can, you need to clear the area as <laughs> soon as possible. <laughs> there is a madman up there. He's got a, a, a severe case of rabies. Uh, I think it's military testing because a Chinook just landed. Um, <laughs> we need to clear this area, officer. Please hurry. <laughs> I'm just going to put my CDC thing right in his face. CDC, <laughs> hurry up. Please, <laughs> time of the essence. <laughs> All right. The guy with the Uzi takes another <laughs> try. First up, Bradley. That was out of the box. Ah, uh, a 50, Bradley. That hits. So you take another 50, 12. 11 points of damage as four bullets just rip into you. We're gonna die. One health points. One 
health point left as you fall to the ground. The other one takes aim at Raven. It's a called shot, so he has a 20% penalty. Raven, you feel three shots just whiz above your head. S. Stapler takes A. A couple things are going to happen. The man stops singing. And contests your dragging. Let him try it. Oh, he will. He succeeds. What do you do? Do you fight back? Yeah, I try and grab him again. I'm fucking strong. I want this bitch to die. All right. Rule me unarmed combat. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> 15 under 41. 15 under 41. You struggle and you slap him in the face. He's momentarily confused. As he struggles. But you get the feeling that he rolled higher than you. And in Delta Green, it's the number closest to the actual baseline of your number that wins. His strength is a 70 and I rolled a 54. Okay. You rolled a 15, so he wins. But I rolled unarmed combat, not strength. Right, roll strength. 31 under 70. Alright, so he still wins. Oh, fuck off. Okay. He pushes you to the ground and stands up. And he looks up and says, Radio wave. Virtual setting. Download. Have. And just looks up. One of the guys with guns takes another shot at Raven. Misses with a 95. Stapler uses his cold shot on you. You feel a bullet hit the ground next to you, ricochet just above your head. As he yells, Raven, descends now! Olivia. Um, the front of the, the van, from the back of the van, is completely sailed, uh, mm -hmm. cl closed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, what I've done by now is I ran to the front of the van and I looked for a hazmat suit. Is there a hazmat suit there? 
you can see a hazmat suit on the back of the um, like passenger seat. In a but it's box. not. It's not. A, it's still in the front, right? It's yes, in, it's still yes. in the front. Yes. Okay, so I want to take that, and I will put him, and I will um, go, get my phone inside of my mm -hmm. husband's suit, and I will right there. The handler, yes. I'm gonna stop you right there, because as you try to open the door, it's locked. Because that's what Aiden did. He <laughs> locked the van. Okay, so I ran. I ran to. I I I I I I, I will uh, yell to Aiden. I locked the van. And it's not quite working, so I put it against my head to get it further around. <laughs> Bing, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> All right, so that's both of your actions done. <laughs> Which uh, actions, me or Eden? Both of you. <laughs> because you can only do one thing in six seconds. In two seconds in Delta Green. But you didn't let me do anything the first action. You said that the, you decide for myself or was it too quiet? <laughs> I and I was so focused on the, the story. Olivia. We're not I going to be able to action. help in any way, shape, or form. I'm not the helping moment. them. I'm just doing something <laughs> else. Next round. Bradley. You're on the floor. You have one HP left. Roll me a constitution roll. Constitution I'm good at. Let's see. Famous lock words. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 72. Under 90. Yee. Damn it. So you, re you remain consciousness. You remain conscious for what's about to happen. Yeah. And... As, as Stapler says, this ends now. I I just tell him it does. I move my gun and aim at him and pull the trigger. A fifty-five under sixty. Yes. All right, give me damage. Critical success. A critical. Oh, what's your damage? Is D ten, right? So it's max damage. Oh, is it D12? Uh, it was a D12 before. Yeah. Do you shoot him in the head? You tell him this end now. And as he's still aiming at Olivia. Uh, sorry, <laughs> he's not him. Olivia. You're not going to get that hazmat suit anytime soon. <laughs> As he's aiming at Raven, he looks at you and you pull the trigger and you see a little dot in the center of his head form and he slumps to the ground with a giant gaping hole on the back of his head. You did exactly max damage for this guy. Oh my fucking god. And on that note, roll me a sanity check. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> you too, Raven. What, me too? Nil. Nil? AKA a hundred. Yeah. Ooh. You take ten sanity damage. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. That puts me at fifty-four. Under my breaking point of 60. Oh, right, we'll resolve that later. Uh, I've got 37 under 40. All right. Um, you take one sanity damage. Okay. <laughs> Fine, whatever. So these two will be singing with the men. They might do.
all of you see the sky darken. As Raven, you try to stand up and grab Gucci Man again, I imagine. Yeah, take any opportunity that is for any way a distraction and I'm back up to try and get Gucci Man off of this fucking ledge. All right, roll me strength. 23 under 70. 23 under 70. He tries to resist. Fifty-nine under seventy. He nimbly steps out of the way. As you hear a woman scream, "No!" In the corner of your eye, you see her grabbing her gun out of her waistcoat and shooting at you. Can I dodge? You cannot dodge firearms. What do you mean? I can roll out of the way. No, you cannot dodge roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, two things. Well, I'm still, I'm still. Well, I'm no, still I'm gonna, I'm gonna, out. I'm gonna explain two things. Okay. You can take one action per round. Mm hmm. You already try to tackle Gucci Man. That's all you can do this round. Okay. If you did nothing, you cannot dodge firearms. Okay. But I'm not a. I'm so. I'm still moving because I'm trying. I'm basically tackling Gucci Man, so. Yes. I'm still a moving target, that's what I mean. That's what you mean? A. a 20% penalty? I'm sad to say. Still hits. Okay. Anything I can do with my plus 20 bonus? No. Probably nothing. Because you already used it. No, I didn't use it. You didn't use it? No. Alright, well... Um, you rolled a... 23? Yeah, it's not gonna make a difference to a 54. No, I know. Okay, well... Let's do it. Take one damage. Still alive. Still alive. As one of the men with the submachine gun rolls a critical hit. I'm definitely dead. <laughs> or I'm definitely dead. Depends. Or he mistakes and kills the Gucci <laughs> man. That would have been with a critical fail. Raven. You feel three hot needles entering your body. How many HP do you have left? Uh, two. As the last one hits you, you feel elated. Like everything is right in the world. No pain. No stress, just a happy feeling. You're standing at a lake and you feel two hands caressing your shoulders and your back. And you hear, Hey Raven, long time no see. As everything turns to black. Another one misses 
Radley completely. As we turn. To Olivia. You have in your hand a phone. Who do you call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> Glad it did it. <laughs> You're muted. I cannot hear you. The handler. Oh, the handler. Uh, hey, what's up? Hello? I... Where are you? Um... I'm... D does it matter? Yeah. Oh, come on the toilet. Are you at home? <laughs> oh, home-ish. With your family? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, you don't know my family. Can, can, I, mean, I, help, can I help you? Can I do anything for you? What's no, happening? you cannot actually help. You've dragged us to this hell. You lied to us, and you never helped, actually. I, 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 uh, hold on, I, I get another call. Aiden. I've just remembered the rockets in the van. <laughs> so I'm running towards the van thinking, screw fucking contamination. I'm grabbing the fucking rocket. I can hear shit going down in Detroit. And I want to get up there with a the rocket. All right. <laughs> the helicopter lands next to you. Bradley, roll me another con. Constitution. Check. Twenty-eight. All right. Now roll me a sanity roll. As you look to your left. Five. All right. Didn't care for Raven at all. It seems. Do I mean nothing <laughs> to you? <laughs> Take one sanity damage. Oh. Uh, sorry, I I uh, misread that. That was sixty-five, not five. Sixty-five is a fail. <laughs> now that my uh, my sanity points are fifty-four, yeah. <laughs> All right, roll me a d twelve. Twenty. That's d twelve. That's twenty on a d twelve. That's gonna be harsh. Five. 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 Right, you take five sanity damage on top of it. That puts me at 49. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Olivia, you are on the phone with Topper again, and he says, look, what's going on? What's going on? I, I, I want to make things right. How can I help? I don't think you can help anymore. Turn off. Ice cold. Aiden, you step in the helicopter. Rockets in hand. I look at over at Olivia and she looks very depressed. <laughs> Olivia, do you join him in the helicopter or are you staying below so i with the hazmat suits in my plan was i don't know how many actions i to go in the back of the van mm -hmm. and check i don't know if i if i have i don't know what i have anymore uh the pain drive and i would try to connect the numbers i saw on that 
file with the logic I was using. I'm not hearing what you're saying. You need to. I will use the, the codes that I saw in the file mm -hmm. to try to understand how to uh, kill the bacteria. All right. Um, I will fast forward just a bit in this case. Bradley, you hear footsteps approaching and your gun, your rifles being kicked away from you. You! You still hear the man chanting as Aiden takes to the sky. Olivia's running numbers trying to solve a puzzle that she doesn't have all the pieces to. She's smart. Maybe she can figure it out. Aiden, as you arrive at the top, you hear blink, 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 blink of shots being fired at you. Bouncing off of the bottom of the helicopter. Is this an ex army helicopter that's now being used by the Rangers? Yeah. So it's like a Huey from it's Vietnam. Basically <laughs> armored on the bottom. Yeah. I'm going to tell the pilot to keep going up and aim right above them. At this point, as I'm flying past, do I, am I aware that I can see the bodies of Raven and Bradley lying on the floor? Good question. Yes. <laughs> sanity check. Two sanity 56. checks, by the way. 56 for the first one, which is on. I think it's under. Where's my sanity? Sanity! It's 83. Whew. All right on that one. You've got 83 yeah. sanity? Oh, yeah, I'm a sane boy. Oh, wow. Well, I've got 93 on the second one. <laughs> right, D12. Oh, D12. Two. That's not bad. 81 sanity. What if you have roll me science roll? No. 78 uh, over 70. Close call. Bradley, you're clinging on for dear life. And suddenly you hear the Cree song stop. Something is happening. Aiden, you look down and you see a being formulate itself out of thin air. Bradley, you look up and you see a multicolored visage, a floating monstrosity of tentacles, flashing colors, and appendages. It reaches out with one For lack of a better word, noodly appendage. And 
in what's almost like a buzzing voice well approximation of speech it says you have become something other than human are you prepared to see vistas that open only to the favored of Nyarlathep? Gucci man, smiling and weeping, says, Bla Black bookcase, green thunder sideways recoiling. Another of these weird looking monstrosities reaches out a weird half organic half metal device that produces a low whoosh 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 sound that causes Gucci man to collapse to the ground utterly utterly insensate another one the third one reaches out with a bizarre implement of rotting meat and sharp bone it uses the grotesque object to tear off the top of gucci man's head scoop out his brain and place the brain in a canister of undefinable metal It puts the skull back together and seals up the wound like it's never been made. Aiden, you see this from above. What do you do? Uh, how far is the chopper that's already on the top of the hill away from these two beings? 10 meters? 20 meters? I'm going to throw the bomb at the, at the uh, chopper. Roll me a luck roll, and I'm going to do this differently because I'm oh. going to ask you to say over or under 50. Before okay. you roll, tell me, over or under 50? Before I roll, under. Under. Okay. 28. 28. You see it fall as in slow motion towards this other helicopter and as you see that these things are going to be flying away leaving gucci man's corpse and bloodstains I want you to roll me a sanity check. Uh, my sanity is 81. 44. <laughs> Critical hey. success. Somebody else has to roll a sanity check. For seeing what just happened. To Gucci Man. Bradley. <laughs> I have to roll a sanity check? Yes, yeah, uh, you Bradley. saw that. Up close. <laughs> Let's see if we can blast they, you too. They can take my brains off for this is done. Definitely two. All right. Over 49. <laughs> roll me a d6. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Six. He has PTSD. Six. All right. So you take six damage. You also, because this one was just for seeing these weird monstrosities, Bradley also wants you to roll another sanity check. For the brain thing? Yes. <laughs> 14. 14. 14. This is not the weirdest thing you've seen today. <laughs> <laughs> No, f fuck that guy. He deserved it. He <laughs> what he put us through, you know. He absolutely deserved fuck him. it. 
As this rocket falls, it lands precisely on Stapler's helicopter. A couple things are going to happen. First, the rocket explodes the helicopter. Aiden, roll me a D100. 11. That means that you hit its lethality rating. <laughs> it takes out the two gunmen, the woman, Bradley. Sorry, Bradley. And one of the weird floating monstrosities. The one with the canister? No. Bastard. Olivia, roll me another science roll. Four, zero, zero. That's four, a, right? That's a four. So it's a four under seven. I'm going to do something. Aiden? Yes? You see these two remaining monstrosities blink out of existence, as does the one that you most definitely killed. We flash forward. We have a montage of Aiden landing with the helicopter, stepping out, talking to the police. Olivia rushing out of the van, paper in hand, yelling, almost ecstatically we cut to a new shot Aiden in a police interrogation room <laughs> being asked quite indeed no sound no sound just visual <laughs> Indeed. And as we see Olivia hard at work in a laboratory, <laughs> trying to look busy. <laughs> Another shot of Olivia and Aiden at two funerals. a shot of a newspaper article about a man who had rabies we see a shot of Los Bantitos riding we see a shot of a woman, a woman that you know, working in a laboratory, a 
Who do you think it is? Dr. Gant. Indeed. We see a shot of Christina gurneyed to a bed. We see credits. And after the credits, you stay seated as we have one last shot. We fly over the Oakland pit. We go down into the Oakland pit, into the water. It's dark pitch dark the deeper you go and then you see flickering lights green red blue yellow and as the camera pans up you see a thriving colony of colorful bacteria illuminating this old mine. I want to thank you all for a wild ride. A exciting finale. And we see you all on the next adventure. Thank you. Yay! And it was much rejoicing. Yay! Wow. That was amazing, Mr. Clint. Thank you all. Thank you. It was... No, thank you. Without a doubt, the wildest ride I have ever had. And the wildest finale of anything I've ever seen. Just goes to show that when the guns come out in Delta Green, yeah, people get nervous. <laughs> Again, thank you all so, so much for joining me in this adventure. No, thank you. Let Stop. Up. I Thank fucking you. love Delta Green, man. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm kind of speechless because I'm at the edge of crying. <laughs> Am I? It's emotional. Good. It is. I'm sorry I killed you, Bradley. Just wanted an epic ending. No, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm kind of happy that it was you and not. <laughs> fucking stapler or one of his goons. So we kind of won, it's but all kind of failed. The devil you know is better than the devil you don't. <laughs>